Disney Genie Plus has got everybody talking, everybody a buzz, of course. It's the 50th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company coming up, and the announcements are going to be coming in flying hot, as they say. But as you know, this has been a very controversial decision. Disney Genie Plus, while it provides a lot of uh, interesting things that for the regular consumer who maybe doesn't have the level of expertise of planning their vacation, there's obviously a money component to all of this. And the many, many, many detractors um, upon the announcement because it's a cash grab. There's no doubt about it. I mean, there's there's other companies that do the same thing um, and to a certain extent like like. Uh, Universal does with Express Pass, but the value there is uh, immensurably more demonstrable. So the question is, does Disney bounce back from these announcements? Does Disney not need to? I mean, is the demand so great that this is going to succeed whether people think the, that they have power over Disney or not? Because the truth is the demand during the pandemic has been uh, unstoppable. I mean, it really has been, even though there have been hotels that have been closed and there are you know, things around the edges in the periphery, there's no doubt that people have gone through every loop and hurdle to go to Disney World during the pandemic, including with with um, raging pandemic, you know, issues and other things. And still people have gone and learned new systems about how to buy passes and how to get in and all this other craziness that I, I put in my article today on themouse.com that I, I welcome you all to read it, that... You know, people need a mental degree now to go to the Walt Disney Com to go to the Walt Disney World, and obviously Disneyland's another mess as well. Um, so, I think there is some positives in there. It's not always to be negative about Disney. They, you know, I do think uh, having the opportunity to save time, even if it is by spending money, is is going to be very positive for a lot of people. But I think you know you're going to have to look at your bank account and you're going to have to make a decision like, is this something that's for you? Or is this just for the people that that have the money to go to Star Wars hotels and and go to Bulls and Bears and stay at the Four Seasons? You know, is it just for them? And then the other question, of course, is like, what's going to be the next shoe to drop with pass holders and the rates there? And then there's just so many financial things coming out as Disney clearly is trying to recuperate money that they've lost during the pandemic. I mean, there's there's no way, no matter even with all the financial uh, maneuvering that they've done, that they've made up the amount of cash that they've lost over the pandemic. I mean, you're talking about cruise ships being closed. You're talking about whole wings of their pro of their business that were closed. Um, so it is it is a very crazy time at the Walt Disney Company. And I don't say that just because I'm here trying to sell you on reading an article on my website. Okay, I'm telling you because it's the truth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you will look at themouse.com today and make up your own mind. You know, there's a lot of good and there's a lot of bad in everything. So make up your own mind. Visit themouse.com today.